Next is checking the fan orientation and seeing where we can mount the hood. Yep, top. Air always comes out from this side where the information sticker is. Air goes in this way and comes out this way. Okay, so we're gonna install this. Pretty simple, you just have to screw in into these holes. Okay, where you wanna put them in and then plug them in later. Okay, so that just that's out. So next, I gotta figure out the orientation of facing this fan. All three fans should follow the same configuration. So you gotta make sure you use these screws. I don't know if you can see the short ones. Um, so that, you know, they fit in. These are for the radiators. So you don't need those since you're just mounting fans. Okay, so I'm gonna rub things behind. Basically, I've connected up all the uh, front I.O. connectors to the board. Um, as you can see there, there's some issue here whereby we couldn't mount the fans onto the casing itself because the USB 3 wire was actually blocking the fan. They actually have everything just written down for you. Um, I've actually put in the, P the PSU or the power supply. It's pretty simple. You just have to slot it in, screw in the four screws and you're pretty much done. As you can see, we've done like a very rough cable management. I managed to route one cable up to the CPU, so that's the power supply for the CPU, and then one for possibly the GPU. So thermal paste application is pretty important if you want good uh, heat transfer. Damn it, you fools! So I'm gonna remove the plastic now from the AIO cooler so that you know, make sure you don't miss this part because then what's the point of having the metal, right? Okay, where are my wires? Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in and I'll screw it tight. <coughs> yeah, that's in. Let me just tighten up both the screws. Both on tight, latched on. Since it's kind of uneven, I'm just gonna turn it around and I'm gonna press it down so that it evens out a, a, a bit more on this side as well. So they have an even coating. And I'm gonna take it out again and then I'm gonna mount it proper. Okay, so I managed to put in the CPU block. Okay, and then I mounted in the radiator with an ID cooling fan. Okay, using the screws here. Okay, so you just screw those in. Those are the long screws. Um, long screws like these, okay, but they were silver ones. And then I routed the wires through the back to this side. Okay, this is the power for the pump and this is the fan power for the ID cooling. Alright, and then the fan power for the radiator is under here, under the radiator. Okay, also make sure that the fan here is, you know, kind of aligned so that there's enough uh, air going in and out, right? Okay. Next is putting in your storage. So these here are the SATA ports that you can connect up the SSD and hard disk to. Okay, so we're gonna put in the RAM and then you're gonna put in the GPU. Okay, so I've got two times 8 GB data RAM. I'm gonna put this in. Usually it's one and three. So you connect two sticks to one and three. You can either put it in two and four or you can put it in one and three. So just remember it has to alternate. Line here that you can align the connectors to. Okay, so I'm just gonna use that as a gauge. Okay, and then I just gotta correct. Why am I doubting this tail? And if you push it in, the latches will automatically close back. Okay. Okay, next is the GPU. Hello, please come out. Hello. Okay, so now as you can see, this is the connector. I should open up two of these so there's space for the ventilation and the ports as well. So that one is out. Okay. So right, this latch over here is the, is the one that will catch on once you press it in. Screw in this GPU, okay? Perfect. Next, we gotta connect that power, the GPU. It's the power cable for the GPU. So this is an eight pin connector. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug it in here. Okay. Okay, now the GPU is connected. All right, that's good to go. Okay, just do some final checks. We are going to turn on the PC. It's the moment of truth. Let's test it out and see if everything works just fine or I messed up somewhere. Let's hope, most probably it'll be fine. Uh, don't worry. Michael, don't worry, Michael. 
I got you. So now the part we've all been waiting for, I'm going to boot up the PC and I'm going to install Windows, set up the SSD and he'll be coming by later to collect it. So I hope he likes it. Yeah, let's get to it. This is a sponsored video. Sumo Computer Systems actually helps many PC builders source for parts that cannot be found locally and surprisingly provides warranty for it. Sumo CS also gives advice on what kind of parts and builds you can do for your preferred purpose. You can also catch them on Carousel if you're keen to get affordable refurbished high performance gaming PCs. A big thanks and shout out to Michael for allowing me to build his PC and allowing me to video the whole process. So thank you Michael and thank you Sumo Computer System. Yeah, let's get to it. this video and enjoyed this video please like and subscribe head over to our youtube channel give us a subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up and um, if you have things that you want me to review send it over or drop me a text and i will link up with you you can do a review until then i'm your host Thiru, and this is random review squad Psh. Mm.